Hey everyone, so today I'm doing my um, palette kind of favourite eyeshadows from MAC, what MAC eyeshadows I own, and some swatches. And I am doing this on my kind of flash camera. I'm using a Canon EOS 60D, um, which is my photography camera for my course. Um, I thought the colours would probably show up more true to colour in this video. I'm not going to be using this all the time because it doesn't have autofocus, but um, I thought I would try to do it for this video just because I wanted you guys to see the colours really accurately, hopefully. I think everything's coming up a little bit brighter on camera right now. I should have put the exposure down a little bit, but then there were shadows on my face and it looked really bad. So, um, I've also decided, I'm sorry for the long intro, I decided I'm going to split this into four parts because I have four different palettes. Um, different color like um, schemes I suppose you could say so today I'm going to do my neutral palette and then as I keep going I'll put the links to the other videos down below so you can just click to whichever color palette you'd like to see okay so starting off I use coastal scents um, palettes they're really really cheap coastalscents.com I choose the cheapest shipping if you want to know how much shipping is you have to put it in your cart people ask me that all the time um, it just depends what you buy so um, with the MAC eyeshadows you have to put a little magnet on the bottom and if you can see okay, as you can see here um, they're kind of risen off but the palette still shuts like tight so that's good I might just sit here so I can actually see if I'm in focus <laughs> okay so I got some little labels from Uncle Bill's and I put them all over the top so you can kind of see like you know this one is this one because um, there's like a big mirror Hey, so, oh, that's a bit dirty. Got eyeshadow all over it. So I'm just going to go through them and I'll swatch them for you. And I'll show you which ones are my favourites, which ones I don't like so much. Just all that kind of stuff. So the first one I have here is called Blank Type. And it is this colour just here. This is my favourite brow bone highlight. That's what it looks like. You can't really see it. It's just a very nice bone colour. Um, perfect for highlighting. It's matte. And it's a matte 2 formula or matte squared formula. Which means it's really easy to blend. And I find that it's a really good colour to mix. So with this colour just here which I'll tell you more about soon. If you mix these two together it kind of gives you a light brown. Etc. Etc. It's really good for that. It's kind of like an everyday staple for me. I wear it almost every day. Um... It's just like my favourite highlight colour. And I need a new one because I've hit pan. The next colour here, this one here is called Shroom. This is a satin formulation. And it's just a very shiny kind of skin tone. And you're barely going to be able to see it. I can barely even see it. It's just here. Um, it's kind of hard to see. But it's quite sheer. So it's good for highlighting. Because you're not going to put too much pigment on your brow bone but if you want a really really shimmery shimmery like color it's like for your inner corner it's not really gonna pay off unless you really layer it up so depending on what you want it for if you want it for a nice shimmery brow bone color it's good for that but not so good for like anywhere else on your eye it's also really really nice as an actual highlight on your cheekbones um i've used that quite a lot the next one here is called retro spec and this is a luster and i want to talk about this one for a few minutes well not really um because Ooh, I'm going out of focus. I'm so sorry. This this video is probably going to be weird, but I just want to do it for colors sake. But retro spec, a lot of people have said to me like, "Can you tell me about it? Can you do like some tutorials with it?" Because people have told me that it's really, really not very pigmented and blah blah blah. But I think it's so pretty. You can use it for so many different things. It's kind of like a goldy skin tone color, like very slightly goldy. If I do a little swatch for you, that's the color there, and I'll swatch it just here. So it's a very pale gold colour. What I think this is beautiful for and what I love to do is if I've just got brown all over my lid, you know, blending it out just with anything, um, it's really nice on top of browns to layer and it gives this really, really nice sheen. It's just really, really beautiful. I really do like it and I've seen other girls use it quite a lot. So I don't know, I would recommend it. I quite like it. It just depends what you want to use it for. All over the lid you can still see it. It's really really nice like for like a pin-up look or something like that with just like a matte brown in the crease. But yeah, again it just depends what you want to use it for. The next colour is Kid which is basically like my staple crease colour to blend colours out and things like that. It's just like a darker skin tone. It's matte. You can see it on my middle finger barely. Jokes, it's not even matte. It's called a Veluxe. Whatever. So, 
that's the color just there at the top this is without primer obviously if you're going to use a primer it's going to come up a lot more pigmented but it's just really really nice to blend out any color that you put on your lid you could put it in the crease you could wear it all over the lid just for a natural kind of light brown look or just anything like that I think that that kind of color is a definite staple in anyone's collection next is one of my favorites it's sketch which is a velvet and it looks like this it's kind of like a purple tone brown and it is beautiful. That's what it looks like there. We're getting into the more um, pigmented colours now. And it looks like that and it's very, very beautiful. I find this so pretty in the crease, outer corner or even just all over the lid with a, like, with kid in the crease. It's really, really nice. And also it looks really, really lovely underneath your lash line, especially if you have colour eyes like me where they're kind of green. It really brings out the green. So that's the colour there and it's very very wearable like if you don't want to go for a full on purple look if you have green eyes or whatever and people say you know wear purple eyeshadow then this kind of colour is really really good next is one of my favourites which is like a cult favourite it's satin taupe which is this colour just here and it's kind of like a purpley shimmery taupey browny colour like it's got a little tiny tinge of purple in it as you can see um, very kind of cool toned and it's so pretty all over the lid it's one of my favourite lid Eh, lid colours. I'm sorry, I'm getting all tongue tied. That's it, just there. So pretty, and you can see the reflection it gives. It's just so pretty, and it gives your eyes so much dimension. I think it looks beautiful on any skin tone, to be honest. Next is Copper Plate, which is a matte squared as well. One of my favourite eyeshadows. This one here. It's so pretty all over the lid. I keep getting crap all over my fingers, okay. So pretty all over the lid um, for a grey smoky eye, and that's what it looks like there. It's kind of like... A real dark grey kind of colour. It almost has like, it's got like brown undertones. It's like a brown grey, but it's just so pretty. And trust me, it looks so beautiful all over the lid, just with like um, grey stone in the crease or something like that, which I'll show you soon. Okay, I'm just playing with like the zooming in now. Okay, so next is Mystery, which is in this top corner here. This is what it looks like, and it's kind of similar to Copper Plate, but darker. What finish is this? This is a satin. Okay, so this is a satin. Um, again, a really nice just brown colour if you want a dark brown. It's a really, really nice one. It's just there. You can see it's less grey. It's more brown. But yeah, it's just one of those staple colours. Like, if you need a brown, it's a good one. Next is Max Grey Stone, which is a matte colour. And it's this one just here in the middle. I'll just show you on my finger because it doesn't want to swatch very nicely. But it is a really, really nice dark grey colour, which you can use in place of a black if you don't want to use, like, a black on your eye. I really, really like it for grey smoky eyes, and I think ages ago I did a grey smoky eye look using it. And then next is Carbon, which is just a plain black. And to be honest, I barely use this one. As you can see, it's, like, untouched nearly. But it's just a black. Um, a lot of people love it, but I don't use black personally a lot. If you do use black, though, it is a really good one because it's nice and pigmented and deep. So that is my neutral palette and some of my recommendations and favourites. Um, let me know if you've got any of these and which ones you like and what you like to pair them up with. I'd love to hear your kind of combinations so I can try them out. I am sorry in advance if half of this video is out of focus. But yeah, the colours on my hand here are a lot more realistic than my other camera would have showed then. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and... I think next I might do my purple palette. I've got a purple palette, a green and blue palette, and a kind of pink and, um, I don't know how to explain it, just like pinks and some more neutral colours. So yeah, I will talk to you soon. Bye.